and welcome back to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckerud, and today we're not really going to be talking about cryptid. Today we're actually going to be talking about another phenomenon. Last year I brought up the green flash phenomenon about um, the weather and the ocean and death and <laughs> everything else like that. But Today we're going to be talking about a phenomenon that actually has something to do with my home and where I'm actually from. So this is something that has been heard multiple times all around the world as well and I just want to know from your guys' perspective what you've encountered in terms of a weird phenomenon during extreme weather. So. For me, there's a story that actually dates back quite a long time ago. Um, I mean, not that long ago, but still quite a long time ago in the Yukon. Um, Snag Creek Yukon is one of the coldest places that ever recorded a temperature with a staggering minus 63.9 Celsius or minus 83 Fahrenheit for those of you in the States or whoever uses the Fahrenheit scale. So when the temperature reached this level, people could be heard up to four miles away having a normal conversation as if they were right next to you, as well as people's breath was turning into powder effectively upon just exhaling, falling to the ground, and the sounds of the ice moving and shifting were as loud as shotguns and the sounds of bullets being fired constantly. I want to know in your guys' locations, where you're from, what different sound and extreme weather phenomenon have you encountered? Because for me, I haven't encountered minus 63. I mean, with a wind chill, yes, but like straight up minus 63, no wind chill, no. I've encountered minus 50, no wind chill, um, and that already is extremely cold. So I have heard, you know, it's deathly silent. For those of you who have never experienced a temperature that cold, it is so, so silent. When they talk about you can hear a pin drop in a room silent, it is silent. There are no birds, there is no wind, there is no anything. So when you get a sound like the ice shifting on a river or the ice shifting on a lake or the sound of a tree branch cracking or anything like that, it is extremely startling because it literally breaks all the tension around you. It almost feels like the world is suspended in a lot of ways. There is something extremely peaceful and extremely eerie about it being that cold out especially when it is just crystal like glass out. The sun is usually shining, which makes it even worse in my opinion. Um, and it just feels really, really high energy and really high tension. So that was my experience with super cold weather energy. In terms of other extreme weather cases. If you've been following me on my own social media, you will know that we actually had the large snowmageddon back in January of 2020, um, depending on what year you're watching this, but in 2020 uh, in Newfoundland, we had the massive snowstorm in the middle of January that's effectively shut down all of Newfoundland for a good week. And during that time, it was actually reported from multiple people in multiple places on the island that they heard thunder. That's right, thunder during a snowstorm. Now, this storm was so massive, in fact, that it was labeled a blizzard. Um, it was labeled a hurricane disguised as a blizzard because there was actually an eye to the storm itself, which only happens with hurricanes. So that just kind of gives you an idea of the magnitude of this experience. I don't even know what else to call it. It was an experience. So there are reports of thunder. Um, in fact, my girlfriend actually heard it a number of times during the storm itself. I did not, um, but people were reporting it from all over the island. Other people around the world have also reported hearing things like thunder during a snowstorm or 
um, light anomalies when there is no rain. Um, I have actually experienced that myself up in the Yukon. My girlfriend and I were out camping and we actually experienced, we were in an area, um, for those of you familiar with it or if you want to Google it, we were up on the Dempster Highway. So we were in the Tombstone Mountain Range. There's no civilization nearby at all. No lights, no towers, no transformers, no anything. It is extremely barren. It's tundra. It's open. Aside from the mountains, you can see for miles and miles and miles. We were out one night. It was clear out. We were shooting the northern lights in one direction, turned around to face one of the other valleys and saw bright flashes of what could only be described as lightning, but no clouds. No clouds, no thunder, just bright flashes of light. Again, another strange weather anomaly. When we got back into cell service, I actually called my dad and said, hey, you have been out a lot in the wilderness. Have you ever experienced anything like this? The only thing that he could compare it to was sheet lightning back from when he lived in Alberta and being out in the prairies and how often they experienced that. He, although, however, thought it was very weird that there was no other sounds accompanied with it. It was just that bright flash of lightning. So, that was another strange occurrence. Yeah, the list goes on and on and on. But weather phenomena and weather energy is a huge thing, especially in today's day and age with climates changing and shifting and moving. So I wanna know, what are the weirdest weather phenomena things that you have experienced that you can't quite explain? Because I feel like there are so many and maybe if we can all talk about them and get to know more of them, we can have a better understanding of what is actually happening in our world. So please, down below in the comments, leave me your best weather phenomenal story, whether it's your own or somebody else's that you know, who maybe asked you if you had ever experienced anything like that before. I would like to send a huge shout out to Ron Bumblefootthal for all of our music here on Spaced Out Radio, of course. And don't forget, you can check out all of our archives for free here on YouTube. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and like this video because we love you here and we want you to stay for as long as you will stay with us. Just stay with us. There's lots more to come. Of course, don't forget to check out Spaced Out Radio every single day of the week at 9 p.m. Pacific and head on over to spacedoutradio.com to join the Space Travelers Club for $5 a month where you can join us in forums, live chats during the shows, and get some Spaced Out Radio swag. I will catch you guys in the next video.